segment, a piece of my own scriptures has been rolling around in my head. And that sentence is, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. And the reason I don't despair is that right now I'm looking at that sentence. I'm looking at the peacemakers. You give me hope. Robert Adams, age 40. Harry Bowman, age 46. Juan Espinosa, age 50. Shannon Johnson, age 45. I'd like to now call for a moment of silence as we remember the victims. Put your candles. Thank you. That will conclude our program. As soon as I heard there was going to be a candlelight vigil at the Muslim Community Center in Silver Spring, I knew I had to come. And to, I'm proud to stand with both clergy and lay people from our diocese, as well as people of faith from around Montgomery County and beyond, to um, pray with our Muslim neighbors and friends to assure them that we um, are with them and understand that they're their plight now in America as we try to get our arms around what's happening with gun violence is particularly precarious. The one common denominator in all of the killings, be they police killings, be they um, homicides, be they mass shootings like the ones we're seeing in the last few weeks, the common denominator are, is access to guns. And if we could limit access to guns, so much of the violence would be minimized. And, um, I can't, I can't think of anything more important for us to be working on right now as, a, as people of faith.